Good day, Capricorn viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for clicking on subscribe, liking this video, and clicking that notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos. I was just shuffling for uh, the overall energy for this general reading for the Capricorn Collective for February 2023. Uh, one of the cards escaped me, so bear with me a second while I go retrieve it. Come on. Bear with me a second. I apologize for that. Looks like your energy is kind of a jumpy or ecstatic or what is going on? Capricorn's looking forward to February. Okay, let's see here. Looking deeper. And we have Awakening Ancient Wisdom. Looking deeper. Deep within me is Majestic Radiance. I love that. I love that for you. And we have Awakening Ancient Wisdom. Deep inner knowing is energizing within me. So, Capricorn, you have this crazy work ethic, um, and you are just iconic. People are inspired by you. Strangers are inspired by you. Family and friends are inspired by you. Everything you do turns to gold. This is the radiance that they're talking about. This is the radiance that you were born with. This is the radiance that was instilled by your ancestors. You have... So much wisdom and love and emotion. And people love to spend time with you. Love to bask in your energy. I'm hearing that so many people have not just surface relationships with you, but deep relationships with you. You are loyal to so many people. You hold a lot of secrets and you keep them and you'll take them to the grave because you're that person. Even if you're not friends with somebody or you break up with them, those secrets will stay here and you'll take them to the grave because that's the person you are. So you have this deep, beautiful wisdom beautiful mysticism that you've been blessed with and it's like you're being called to just shine so if you're not doing it already by putting yourself out there and thinking outside your box and just taking charge of your life then start because that's what spirit is calling you to do because once you start all this energy is going to start coming to you and the universe is going to give you opportunities to move forward in your path. But you have to take those steps to move forward. Or it's never going to happen. All right, so let's move on to the tarot deck. Spirit, I am shuffling for the Capricorn Collective and their greatest good for February 2023. Thank you for helping me to connect with their energy. Capricorn, February 2023. What do they need to know for their greatest good? What do they need revealed to them? Whoa, whoa. I thought I saw another one flip over too. Nope. Okay, so we're starting out with um, 
some heartbreak. Maybe you were wounded recently, a breakup, something, a sadness of some kind. Then we have the hanged man in reverse. Line of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay, so we wanted two. Okay, then the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles. That's all about planting seeds and having something come into fruition. Um, something new is happening. Something is being born. You might be pregnant, literally pregnant. And maybe, um, you know, you have a child on the way and that's literally birth. Um, you could be birthing ideas, um, maybe starting your own company. Um learning something new, planting seeds, um, waiting for something to grow. Uh, the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles is all about growth, opportunity, planting seeds, getting yourself out there, networking. Okay, it's also an indication that if you are trying to get pregnant, it might be very easy for you to get pregnant right now. If you are tr not trying to get pregnant, please be careful. Use protection or whatever it is you do. Um, because, once again, it's very easy for you to get pregnant right now if you can. Okay, then we have this beautiful, radiant uh, Nine of Pentacles. This is your energy exuded. You are a hustler. You are a... Um, somebody who works their ass off for everything they have and that's the way you want to live you're not working your ass off just to sit on your laurels you're going out and you're showing it off you're telling people you're saying hey look at me i've got everything that i need but I want you in my energy. So you keep people around and things around because you want them, not because you need, or you need them, not because you want them, not because you need them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got tongue twisted for a second. But there is something that's painful for you inside. As amazing as you are as great of a show as you put on with your happy smile and your your radiance you are hurt you are healing from something there is something that is bothering you this could be a breakup this could be um Maybe you not getting the job that you wanted or landing the deal that you wanted. This could be you're keep being stuck in the same cycle and not seeing the lesson in it. You're not seeing the lesson and it keeps breaking your heart. Keep being attracted to the same type of person over and over and over again. And you're not seeing the lesson in it. Until you change something, things aren't going to change. Can we clarify the three of swords for our Capricorn Collective, please? Okay, so we got the King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Tower in Reverse, and we have the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Um, I am hearing that you know you need to make changes. This is a planned change. You might be moving, you might be getting new roommates, you might be... Buying a home. 
these are plan changes. You might be like moving to a different location altogether. Um, you are trying to find your people. Like I said, you're you're loyal. You're loyal to the people you love, um, but they might not be loyal to you. Like I said, you are find yourself in the same routine, getting hurt. Um, so I'm I'm feeling like it is time for you to look at the big picture and see how good these people are to you. Um, this King of Pentacles energy, I want to clarify. Spirit, what do you mean by the King of Pentacles energy for the Capricorn Collective? Why the King of Pentacles? Thank you. Clarify with the King of Pentacles. Um, this is somebody that you... That was well respected. You really felt warm and safe with. But this person might have. Financially. Done you wrong. Like because I have the, the king of pentacles. Twice here. Is this somebody who took money from you? Or you got scammed? Or you thought this person loved you, but they were using you? Let me pull another card. Why? Thank you. Yeah, learning lessons. So this person might have done you dirty financially. I, I heard maybe they didn't pay you like child support or paid their half of the rent and just walked out. Um, maybe they didn't pay you alimony. For some reason they did you dirty with financially. And this is somebody that you had so much respect for. But you're making changes now and you're trying to find people who are in the same energy as you, people who are on the same level as you, and people who know what you're going through, people who vibe with you. Can we clarify the hanged man in reverse for our Capricorn Collective? Thank you, the hanged man in reverse. For the Capricorn Collective, please. Hanged man in reverse. Hanged man in reverse for the Capricorn Collective. One more card, please, Spirit. So far we have Strength with the Hanged Man in Reverse. And we have the Nine or the Ten of Cups, which is a strong emotional connection. Like you, it's total wish fulfillment. You're getting exactly what you asked for because you remain strong. I have one more card to clarify the hangman. This one. It looks like you had some tough choices to make. You might be feeling like you're at a crossroads. Clarifying for the Nine of Pentacles. Let 
Nine of Pentacles, Spirit. Yeah. Yes. Well, this card came out before. <laughs> it just popped out again. So I guess this is the card that wanted to come out with all those other ones. Okay, so... Yeah, this is, you are definitely, definitely loyal. You have a great connection with your people, with your community, whoever that may be. Like I said, people are freaking looking up to you like no other. People love you. You're, like I said, the word that came to me from spirit was you're an icon. Um, however... There's some kind of, <laughs> for some reason, something is throwing you off. Like you're not in the spotlight and you don't like that. You love to be taken care of. You love to be in the spotlight. You might even be an actor or an actress or somebody who maybe is on um, like an influencer or maybe you have your own YouTube channel. Um, but for some reason, somebody is taking you out of the spotlight. There was some sort of missed opportunity. Maybe you didn't get a part. Or um, maybe you were banned from Facebook or Instagram. I don't know. But there is some opportunity that was missed for you to be in the spotlight. But people still think of you as an icon. I don't think you, you need to be in front of anything for people to think you're an icon. People love you. Can we clarify the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles? Empress, Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn. Self-sabotage. What are you doing to fuck up this manifestation? To fuck up the growth of something? Something, this is rebirth in reverse. What are you doing to fuck up the growth of something? The growth, growth of a relationship, the growth of a business. There's something you're doing that, to mess up this, this opportunity. Maybe you're not responding to messages because it's a swords. Maybe there's messages coming in and you're not responding to them. You're not paying attention to what is distracting you. You have an, an opportunity for something to grow, to something to bloom, for something to come into fruition. And this is all self-sabotaging energy. All of it. What are you doing? I don't understand how this reading went to this so suddenly. What are you doing? You have a chance to, to grow. Whatever it is, this, however this resonates with you. You could have an opportunity to go back to school. You could have an opportunity to grow your business. You could have an opportunity, if you want to, to have a child or to not have a child. You could have an opportunity to move to a bigger home. You can have an opportunity for whatever it is you want to do to, you know, get an increase in salary or a promotion Whatever it is that you want to do, you are fucking it up. It could be by negative thinking. It could be by your actions. It could be because you're distracted by something else or um, an addiction or um, some kind of um, something that's distracting you, taking you away from your priorities. I don't know how this awesome reading went to shit. Capricorn.
Get your shit together. You have an opportunity for growth. Okay? Get your shit together. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Spirit, what does Capricorn Collective need to know? Ugh. Journal your vision of a future self. Spend time with a pet. That's always lovely. I love that. All right, Capricorns. Sorry I had to give you a tongue lashing. But it needed to be done. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for your awesome energy and your loyalty for staying till the end. Thank you for um, clicking on like and subscribing to my channel. Also, if you'd like to book a reading, see below in the description box on how to do that. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye, Capricorn.